Hello, welcome back to All American Arts Workshop. I'm Stuart. And I'm Courtney, and he is going to teach me how to make a pen today for the first time. I have never touched a lathe. And she picked out a slimline black chrome with some purple heart. So, a few things hopefully today. I dragged her out here by her ponytail, so make sure you press that subscribe button. Also, give us a big thumbs up. And we'll get right into it. All right, so we start out, we gotta get the right bushings. So you already got your pen kit and your purple heart piece. So we gotta get the right bushings. Every uh, pen is a different thickness at the tip and also the mechanism. So that bushing will help you turn it down to the right thickness to fit your pen. Everyone's got different bushings, so make sure you get the right bushing for your pen kit. It also tells you what bushings you need in your pen kit instructions. But so we need our slimline bushings. And we need some tubes. Grab those tubes out of there. Just these two? Yep. And we need to scuff them up. They come shiny, so we got to scuff them up so the glue has something to stick to. So we use some sandpaper. There's a piece right here we can use. Just use something under like 120, 120, 80. They all work to scuff up every side. All right, now let's go back to our purple heart. Grab a pencil and just lay it next to the end of this, leaving just a little bit on each side, put a mark. We'll just uh, we'll keep them close together so the grain will match, but put a mark there so you know where to cut the first one. And then do the same with that one, leaving a little, about an eighth on each side. Like that? Yep. And then you can also do a mark that way so you know what sides to put together after you cut them. Like that? Yep. And then cut it on the miter box. Cut right on the line? Yep. Using a little backer piece makes it a lot safer. Cut it more. <laughs> so we got the one piece, now I'll cut the other one. So keeping them in the right order, we'll uh, grab our tubes and a seven millimeter drill bit and we'll drill these out. Yep. So we'll actually be using a 1764 drill bit pretty close to seven millimeters. That will also tell you right in the instructions what size you need to drill out your holes. So we'll change that out. Which way? Down. I'll get this in here. You can also do this right on your lathe too, if you got a drill chuck. 
or also by hand if you got enough extra on your piece. So we'll use this uh, center marker here and we'll throw that on the corner. So hold that just right on the corner nice and tight up to both Which edges. Corner? Yep. And then mark it out. Piece is not. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Like that. Yep. So this piece is not perfectly square, so you got to do it from all edges, and then you just go between all your lines, right in the dead center. We'll drill them out. I'll let you hold the camera. I'll do that for you. Okay. I just do it by hand, go nice and slow, pecking at it. If you do do it on a drill press, you can also put it in a drill press vise, or even just use a regular clamp for more leverage. drilled out. Now we're going to glue them up just using some CA medium thickness. Put plenty in there and make it run all the way down until you start getting some drips out the bottom. Grab one of your tubes. Put another drip on there kind of Push it all around. Stick it in one side, move it around. Stick it in the other. Push it all the way down. You can use the other tube. Kind of go back and forth. Then we'll just hit it with some activator. That'll make it hard right away. And we'll let that sit for a half an hour, make sure it's fully dry. All right, so now these are all dry. We got a little extra on both sides because we uh, cut them long on purpose. So there's two ways to get that down. You can use a reamer. This purple heart's gonna be pretty hard wood though, so we're gonna use a sander. Plus also, uh, for some new people, you might not have a reamer for every uh, size pen. So just keeping it nice and 90 degrees. Sand it down until you hit the brass tube. So we're down to the brass on that side now. So we'll just do both sides of each blank and then we'll throw it on the lathe and we're ready to start turning. Okay, so we're going to grab our bushings, go over to the lathe and uh, slide two of your bushings on. That'll just bring us away from the, the edge of the lathe a little bit, make it easier to turn. And then you'll need the other ones, but put one of your tubes on there. We'll make it so our lines are facing each other. Just then we'll put another bushing on. And then the other one, keeping your lines facing each other. And then we'll put a couple more on there just to get to the threads. And this is just a seven millimeter pen mandrel. Last one too. 
We'll screw that on nice and tight, hold in both of these. And then we just slide our tailstock up to it, lock it down, and give her a couple twists. And then we're using a jet uh, 36 inch lathe and some uh, carbide tools. So we'll grab the big one here and turn it on. Just gonna slow it down a little bit. Get your tool rest nice and tight. And then we're gonna hold it just a little bit under a 90 degree angle. So just like that, keeping one hand up front and then the other one in the back, as far back as you can get it. And go in really slow. If you look really close, you can see the shadow of the corners. So we gotta just knock down the corners a little bit first, get it to round. You can do both of them at the same time or just one. So just barely taking a, barely touching it, getting the corners off of there, going back and forth. to get the corners off of there you can go a little bit harder not too much but and this purple heart is really hard wood you really uh, want to start out with some softer like maple or even pine or something would be would be ideal, it's not going to make the nicest pen, but good start out and practice on something. And if you put your tool up on top you can kind of feel if it's round or not like that one just got quite a few corners on it Turn it up just a bump. Kind of start shaping it once you get it round. So think of the style of pen you want if you want a fat grip or. So then uh, this back piece you got to keep pretty thin so your clip can go on it, the clip of your pen. So with every edge, with every side you're going to want to go all the way down to the metal. And then you can make it any shape in between.
start working your edges. Nice and easy. You can do each side, even get them all the way down to the metal if you want. And then do whatever shape you want in between, but this back piece you might want to keep just nice and square. Like that? You can uh, shape this one however you want it, and then we can use the square, the square carbide on the back, and it'll get nice and parallel all the way across. gouge to make the back nice and flat or the square carbide roughing carbide so do the same thing but that will make it so you can keep it nice and flat across go a little easier on that one since you got more surface area touching finish this off and we'll come back and start hitting it with some sandpaper but you can see got it to a nice shape we'll have to go a little bit deeper there because you're not to the square we're getting we haven't knocked the square off of that part of the pen yet but we'll go a little bit deeper on that and then uh, square up that back piece and we'll come back and we'll start sanding all right so we got it all down to where we want it. So we'll go ahead and take the tool rest off. Slide it that way. Off, off yep. And we got a sanding pack. It ranges from uh, 150 to 600. That's going to be fine for uh, wood projects. For acrylic, you're going to want to use some micro mesh goes all the way to 12,000 grit. But we'll start with this, uh, grabbing a little little bit more than like an inch and a half piece. Rip it off there. Turn the lathe back on. We can slow it down. Sandpaper works just fine at slow speeds, so it doesn't have to be spinning like crazy. Yep. You can also go underneath and pull up too. Moving it back and forth, we're gonna hit each piece nice and evenly. With purple heart, if you do heat it up, it will turn more, more purple. 
so depending on if you want it more purple or you can uh, sand it at a little higher higher speed and it'll actually darken up the wood and then with this uh, middle piece here if you use your finger and just get in there and you can keep your roundness a little bit better So once you feel like you got that nice and smooth and uh, if you left it a little bit big on the, the ends, you can also sand that down, get it perfectly dialed in with your bushing. But we'll just hit each uh, grit with, for like a minute and a half or so. Hi hey, Wessie. Mommy's making a pen. So we'll just hit every uh, grit like I said for about a minute and a half or two minutes. And then we'll uh, come back and we'll throw some finish on it and we'll see what we are working with. All right, so that's nice and sanded up, really smooth. And she wants to uh, go for a nice shiny look. So we're gonna do a CA finish on it. I will uh, go ahead and show her how to do it. So she'll take the camera. So just using some uh, little baggies from your pen kits to apply the CA. We're gonna take this off here and put our non-stick bushings on there. So making sure you don't turn it around, keeping it in the right orientation from so your grain matches up. I was kind of just remembering how I grabbed them off there to make sure I put them on there the right way. So starting off with some CA medium. Just put a little drip on there. Going back and forth to level it out. Uh, just slow it down a little bit. We don't want to have any heat because that's going to make it cure really fast. back and forth to make sure it levels out and spray some activator on it and I'm going to swap out bags and we'll do uh, about three layers of this we'll run it through a uh, first couple sets of micro mesh and then we'll probably put some layers of thin CA on it probably two layers of thin after We'll sand our whole set of micro mesh. All right, so we got that all micro meshed, nice and shiny. I'm just gonna dry it off. And then we're gonna do a couple layers of thin CA over the top of it. And then we'll buff it out with our micro mesh and then also some polishing compound. So that's nice and dry now. 
We'll grab our thin CA, turn this down as low as possible. I just got some more plastic here. again all right so I got her running through the micro mesh just follow your chart ranging through all the grits just spend a good 45 seconds on each one this is gonna really buff it out make it shine You can also rub your finger on it, make sure you don't have any high spots that you can feel. Feels pretty good though. Alright, so we'll fast forward through this. Okay, so we got it all CA'd. Nice and shiny, buffed out. Um, after you take that off, you're gonna have little CA hanging down on the edges. So we're gonna take that and just sand the edges quick. Knock off all that loose CA. Good. Yep, all right. So we'll take all of our parts out of there. So you got your ink, you got your uh, clip cap, then your clip, the center band, and the tip, and then your mechanism. So we're gonna start, grab your uh, bottom half and we'll press the tip in there. Yep, um, push her in on the vice keeping it nice and straight So now we'll press our mechanism. You got different lines up there, depending on how short you made your bottom. You're gonna wanna press it in there, try it out, but I normally just go right to the, the silver line, past the gold. Put the gold part in first, and press it all the way up to that deep line in the silver. Right to here? No. To this? Yep. There. Okay. <clears throat> now you can screw your mechanism in there, make sure it works right. Press it? Twist it. Twist this part. Oh. Yep, so it goes all the way out and it goes all the way back in. 
so now we can build our top half. You're going to want to press this and your clip in there at the same time. Like that? Yep. Alright, so now all that's left is we take that center band off, put it over our mechanism. Like this? Yep. And then we slide our top half on. And you're all done. So you just twist the top half and that's how you bring your ink out. And if you ever need to replace your ink, you just slide that top half off again and just put a different ink refill in it. But that's all there is to it. Well, here it is. It was super easy and I love making it. Can't wait to make another one. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you kill that like and subscribe button so I can convince her to be in more videos. Thanks again. Until next time.